exposure to Ayurveda has been probably since I was born because this is so widespread in India. It's based on all the natural science and the herbs. So growing up, I would hear the elders, like my grandma would talk about it. If something goes wrong, that there will be always a home remedy um, that they would suggest to go with. Ayurveda cures the root cause of it and not just the symptoms. I had never taken any of the Ayurvedic supplements before this. I was not told by the practitioner about any side effects or risks of taking the medicine. Ayurveda is an ancient practice from India. Many people believe in its power to heal. But some Ayurvedic medications can contain mercury, lead, or other harmful metals, and these metals can make people very sick. An Ayurvedic practitioner prescribed Niti 24 pills per day to take for 18 months. Her doctor ran tests on her later and discovered that she was being poisoned by mercury. The doctor had suggested cortisol test, and my mercury levels were astonishingly high. And that is where we pinpointed and we figured out it was the supplements that I had been taking for more than six months. I had um, tremors in my hands, feet, and legs. I had shortness of breath. Um, I would be very lethargic throughout the day. Um, I would want, I would sit just maybe for hardly half an hour, and I would want to lie down. Um, and I was, I was not able to. There were weeks, there was time when I was not even able to speak properly, or I would just feel so tired that I would not even want to complete to be in so much pain sometimes that it's just like when my kids would come home I did not have energy to sit up and give them a hug uh, which was like really <laughs> I would say traumatic for me. People with harmful metal poisoning may not look or feel sick but as in Niti's case mercury can cause serious health problems. This can include problems with your brain, your kidneys, or your nervous system, such as shaking or difficulty walking. In addition to mercury, people have also been poisoned by lead in some Ayurvedic medications. People use these medications as a general tonic for nausea during pregnancy, to improve energy, for upset stomach, and to treat chronic medical conditions and disabilities, among other uses. I still have, and I would always have faith and believe in Ayurveda. You need to have the faith, but then always also check that faith. <laughs> so do your homework well. Ayurveda itself has a lot of information and knowledge to give to the world. Um, it's about the practices. So not questioning the science itself, but definitely questioning the practices. What to use, what not to use, how much to use should be, there should be diligence and your discretion used in putting anything in your mouth. People may buy Ayurvedic medications online or over the counter. These medications are generally not reviewed or approved by any U.S. government agency. But you can reduce your own risk of harmful metal poisoning by taking a few simple steps. First, do not use Ayurvedic medications that are known to contain mercury, lead, or other harmful metals. Second, if you or your family members use Ayurvedic medications, Tell your doctor and ask for mercury urine tests and blood lead tests. These tests are the only way to know for sure if you have been poisoned. Harmful metals can cause so much damage that it is important to get tested if you use these medications. For immediate concerns, call the Poison Helpline at 1-800-222-1222. For more information, email askehib at cdph .ca.gov or call 510-981-4354.